Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I am going to show you how to provide additional discount in CPQ. So here I have a quote. I will go to quote lines and I am going to select a product. I am selecting printer maintenance kit. If you can see here, its list price is $20 and here is a field for additional discount. So I'm giving a 10% discount over here. Click calculate. So as you can see, additional discount is applied and the net total has become $18. Okay. So additional discount resultant price would be customer unit price. As you can see so far, regular unit price is 20 only. And then customer unit price is the after additional discount has applied. That is $18. So that's how you can apply additional discount in CPQ. Now, if you want your sales rep representatives not to provide any additional discount then there is a way okay you have to go to the product click add I click edit and then here is a checkbox as non-discountable click it and save it now come over here I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna add the product again Now, as you can see, this field is locked. So that means the representative will not be able to provide any additional discount. So that was about additional discount. Now there are uh, some other things, uh, basically the types because uh, which I have selected that was a percent. Uh, there are other values as well. So we are, we are going to see that I am going to allow the discount again. Let me refresh it. Okay, I'm going to select the product again. Now, if you can see, there are percent, there is percent and there is USD. So, direct to value also you can provide. So, I'm going to provide $2. Okay. I need to change the percent to USD. Okay, let's say to USD. Click calculate. So as you can see, uh, in USD also you can provide. So that was all about the additional discount. If you like it, please like and comment on the video. For more, please subscribe my channel as Abhishek Bagherwal. Thank you.